Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bloody Jacob here to bring you another video. This one's going to be talking about the recently released promotional photo of Jared Leto as the Joker in the upcoming movie, The Suicide Squad. And, uh, I know how I feel about this, but what about you, Lily? <laughs> well, you can talk about it first. I think your opinion should be voiced first, after all. No, my opinion's no more significant than yours, <laughs> my dear. Well, I don't think your viewers like to hear our banter, so I'd say you could start it off. No, no, you see, some banter is good because it kind of adds to it, it kind of makes them relate to us. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I sort of have mixed feelings about it. I mean, I'm a very big Joker fan. I mean, uh, one of my favorite interpretations of him is actually in the Arkham video games, of the course, uh, Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker himself, voicing the character. Um, as he did in the animated series that we all grew up on, pretty much. And, uh, I don't know, um, I sort of get that feel from this photo. I mean, it's not the most far-out thing. I mean, I know what a lot of people are talking about is all the tattoos over his body, which you really haven't seen done before, at least not very often. Um, some people claim a tattoo sort of remind them of something a fan would do that really likes the character instead of what the actual Joker himself would do. Some people also say they can't see the character like sitting still for a few hours getting all of that done, you know? And I sort of get that, but I could also see him like sitting back and just, you know, getting it done and then just sort of like rambling on about stories or random things that don't make sense to anyone except him. So I can kind of see him pulling it off if he wanted to. And I sort of get the ha 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 tattoos, I get the perhaps the smiley tattoo and even the jester one. The only one that's a little bit questionable to me is the damage tattoo right across his forehead. That, I think, is a little bit unnecessary. Um, even the little teardropper, I think that might actually be a bullet going down his cheek right there. But the damage one seems a little bit unnecessary, but other than that, I think I could actually deal with it. It's sort of like how the skin is like all pale, and so it kind of points more to like a more comic book style origin they could have for him. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it could actually turn out well. I mean, Jared Leto is a good actor. I mean, I haven't seen him in anything personally myself, but I feel like uh, he has a good reputation, and people seem to be pretty excited about him for the most part. And, uh, yeah, that's generally how I feel about it. Now, what about you? Um, I guess well, with me, I've kind of seen I guess, various other interpretations of the Joker, both... Um, in the Dark Knight and um, earlier representations of the Joker through film and I honestly cannot take this version of the Joker seriously. Um, the tattoos to me just seem a bit much and a bit, I guess, over the top. Where I understand they're trying to bring in this whole comic book appeal to it, but I don't know, it's just kind of hard to take a villain seriously if they're just completely covered in tattoos to the point of where it almost seems pointless. Hmm. Well, you see the Joker's kind of an over-the-top guy, you know? Hmm. He looks like a clown. He's a clown prince of crime. Well, yeah, I understand that, but it's just kind of hard to see him as this dark, brooding character when all you see are these various different tattoos that almost look comical, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Agree to disagree. <laughs> I mean, I can understand your perspective. But I actually do like the pose he's in there, the expression he's showing. Mm -hmm. Kind of gives off of like a scream and a mm -hmm. maniacal laugh at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting to gain more confidence in his ability to act the part. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone like also had a leaked photo of a design with him in a white suit. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be interesting. Traditionally, it's a purple suit, hence the glove you see in the photo. Mm -hmm. But there is actually a story, I believe it's called, in The Dark Knight Returns, in the comic books, where he actually has, like, a white suit instead. But. Well, yeah, it's like, as probably many of you have become aware, I'm not majorly a comic book fan at all. Like, I've looked into some of the various Marvel and DC movies, but, it's like, I've kind of enjoyed Batman to the extent that I've watched it, but... Seeing the Joker in this <laughs> nice face, thank you. Um, seeing the Joker in this, I guess, persona just kind of throws me off from 
the normal, I guess, premise of the whole, I guess, Batman fran Batman French franchise. Oh my God, I can't speak. Um, <laughs> um, I understand, like, this is the whole kind of, almost a side note from all of, like, the action and brutality in Batman. It's just kind of taking almost like the Joker's perspective and just kind of letting him have his own story, but... I don't know, just seeing him in this way is just, it's really, really off, and it's almost just pulls away from everything that DC has created with the Batman franchise. Hmm. Very interesting take on it. <laughs> I mean, I definitely see why people would be worried about this. It does kind of take you out of that tone of what the movie could originally give off in the first place. But I think it kind of could appeal to, or sound of, sort of like uh, exude his insanity a little bit more. He's crazy, so you know, a lot of times you'll see the Joker like writing on walls all over the place. Ha 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 ha. Well, yeah, I understand how it's almost like trying to appeal to the next generation, almost. Where like, <laughs> I've grown up watching a lot of the young, the older Batman type movies, so seeing the Joker in the purple suit and seeing him portrayed in that way, but... Did he see the Jack Nicholson version? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, that was the 89 mm -hmm. one with Michael Keaton. Yeah. And that was something I just kind of enjoyed, but now just seeing it with this take, I don't know if I can necessarily be able to sit through it without almost laughing at how the Joker looks. I understand he's supposed to be this comical character, but... Well both comical and brutal and quite intelligent on his own, but just having this take on him, I don't know if I can take it seriously enough to see him as this, I guess, this strong, brutal villain that he is portrayed, especially in the comic books. Because mm. I've, <laughs> I will admit, I've actually read one in my time. I think it was... God, it was years ago. I think it was like in sixth grade. I ended up getting my hands on one of the comic books, and I personally really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed the whole take they took on the Joker of having him as this brutal, brutal, maniacal, very intelligent character. And I don't know if just the tattoos alone will take away from that. I understand like the actor can play that up as he's both. Intel intelligent and also this very, I don't know if sinister is the right word, but just kind of, I guess, taking away from all that. It's just something that I fear that this take of him will do for him. Hmm. Well, you see, I get it, and you did compare him to Jack Nicholson's version. Mm -hmm. And he said it's kind of giving more of that vibe and like a Heath Ledger vibe. Yeah, right? exactly. But, you see, I don't feel like this Joker's going to be quite as comical, comical because what Jack Nicholson's was kind of like was like the Golden Age mm -hmm. type of Joker. So yeah. he is more like the Adam West type of Joker, more of the... Yeah, it's like in ways I wish they would kind of bring that back, and it'd be kind of cool if the Suicide Squad ended up doing that, just bring yeah. back that whole other side of him. Yeah. Because I think now we're almost used to the Joker in the Dark Knight, so if maybe they could take this and bring it back to basically the golden age of Batman, if they could do that, then yeah. maybe, possibly it could be pulled off, but yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I see the vibe I get from this Joker is that, yes, he looks kind of silly in a way, but at the same time, as well as I know him, I feel like at the same time he could probably cut you right in the throat with a knife and just tear your yeah. stuff out. <laughs> And that's what we should get from the Joker. We don't... He's unpredictable. And I get that from him a little bit. But, uh... Hmm. I am a little bit worried about the teeth, too. You know, like mm. the material he has going on there. Almost looks like they gave him, like, a stereotypical, like, grill people get. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Which, that just seems really off. So I... I don't know. I'm not as opposed to it as, uh, Miss Lily over here. <laughs> but I do <laughs> think they could remove the damage shot, too, and maybe the mm -hmm. grill going on, too. Mm -hmm. And then the rest could be dealt with, I think. 
Yeah, I could kind of see that. If they eliminate all the facial tattoos, then yeah, maybe it could be pulled off. Yeah. So I mean, I guess I don't has, mind. He has, like, further facial tattoos around his eyes, it looks like. Yeah. It might be, like, the makeup, though. I don't know. Well, I don't know, because it just kind of seems like there is these... I don't... No, like, it's just, like, these lines just coming off uh, from supposed to be, like, his veins eyelids. or something. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's just... It's really different. Yeah. I don't know, I think I could turn out, but I just kind of hope they work on it a little bit more before we see it on the film. Mm. Because on a leaked photo I did see of someone, like, sort of watching the scene on their little cellular device, mm -hmm. it did look a little bit better on film than it does in this promotional photo. Mm -hmm. And I kind of think this prom promotional photo makes it look a little bit cleaner yeah. than it actually will look once we see it in the movie. It's like, if some of the tattoos were faded in a sense yeah. those could actually be put up with i'd say yeah yeah because we don't know how it's all gonna come more off of the light and yeah more of looks like everything's gone through its wear and tear basically because yeah. it's just like my father has his own tattoo from being in the navy from his shoulder about down to his elbow mm -hmm. and seeing pictures from when he got it to now there's a major difference mm -hmm. it was a lot brighter and more vibrant and now it's just look like it's gone through it's yeah. wear and tear and it's yeah. faded and darker yeah i don't think the joker would take the time to touch it up all the time either yeah, you know exactly. what i mean mm -hmm. unless he's like just having a whole lot of fun around the city and he'd probably break into a tattoo store and just yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like where this it almost looks like it's brand new and pristine because yeah. everything is just so dark and the shading almost looks perfect. Yeah. They see. I think I could look a little bit better once we see it in the movie. Then. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna hold out the rest of my judgment until we actually see more, maybe a trailer, perhaps, or something along those lines. Because mm -hmm. he is gonna be our lead character in the movie. Yeah. So I am looking forward to it. But I don't know about you. You haven't even seen The Man of Steel or anything like <laughs> no, that. No, I haven't, and I really yeah. need to. Yeah. I haven't even finished The Dark Knight because basically when the Joker... Spoilers for those who haven't seen it, but when the Joker goes to, I guess, it's like this... I don't know if it's like... It's like this meeting of all these different people. And oh, he yeah, shows and he shows the magic trick with the pencil. Yeah. See, I couldn't watch it after that. There I don't was know. like that little girl inside of me freaked out and said holy shit i can't watch this anymore this is too scary you see you expect this joker to do things like that too mm -hmm. but hmm. i don't know it's like i couldn't get through that one so maybe after i watch that completely then hopefully i can be able to watch this without any problems yeah. i know how i got these scars <laughs> Why so serious? <laughs> anyway, guys, I think we both got enough of our thoughts out there. Mm -hmm. And a few giggles yeah. on my part. Anything else you want to add? Nothing I can think of. Yeah. So we're a little bit divided, but yet in a tense in agreement with each other, I believe, about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm just going to hold out on reserving more judgment, but I do kind of like the vibe it gives off, minus a few little things here and there, like a damaged tattoo in the grill and mm -hmm. such. But yeah, I think it could turn out okay. We'll see how it looks in the trailer and such coming up at some point. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. And uh, peace. You want to do anything at the end of the video or no? I can't think of anything to do. Thumbs up. <laughs>